That actually came off. I mean, what was I thinking? What we're gonna do is put these to test and see if you can actually make any decent food items with these because some of these I honestly just keeping it real like this is not sponsored so I can say this they sound stupid as hell so let's see what happens in this video I've got no time to waste we're obviously starting this with my favorite one this is a food cutter and as you can see this was on sale every single one of these items was on sale and that might be the only reason why I'm filming this but basically this is a gadget that is supposed to help you transform regular slices of fruit into looking like you know the Mickey Mouse shape so so I guess we put a slice of fruit on here and then we just close it and then the fruit just sort of comes out with a shape so I'm gonna try the watermelon and the pineapple we've sort of read the instructions so I think the first step is we need like a perfect slice of like whatever fruit you're gonna use for this so the one they use in the example is watermelon so I'm not taking any risks here and I'm gonna use exactly the same work I love how I'm taking this so seriously and this is literally meant for children so step number one is you place um, this on top of the watermelon what we do now is we press it down oh, there's so much juice on the instructions it says that if you lift it like the the fruit should come out with it oh my god no! This is what I get from following the rules. Like, also a representation of my life. I'm really gonna go in for it this time. Oh, shoot. That kind of worked, like, sort of. So I guess what you do in order to present it is just to, like... <laughs> no! This is supposed to be the freaking ears, like... We're gonna try this with a nice, solid slice of pineapple. And by the way, every time I see pineapple, I'm still upset at that stupid food hack that loads of people still claim that it's real. It's not real. Okay. This one's kind of difficult. Ugh. Should I sit on it? <laughs> like, how, how am I gonna do this? I don't have this strength. Come on, like, I can't. Wait guys, I came prepared. It didn't even go all the way through. Oh, it kind of did. Okay, I mean, this is the moment of truth. Oh my god. No! This right here is what I expected. And this right here is what I got. Like, this actually doesn't work. And I'm so sorry, Disney, but... There's a reason why this is on sale. It's because there is no way this would work for anyone. Like 100% not. This is gonna be a very long video. I think I've dropped my expectations by now. So this next one, this is called a cake pan set. And this is basically how to make a Captain America cake. If the first one was like bad and it was this tiny little cutter, imagine this one that seems terribly complex. Do you guys think after I use it, it'll be too late to ask for my money back? I know so many of you guys are like Marvel fans and I genuinely want to do a good job for you guys. If it's like your birthday, you'd like to test something like this out so I guess I will let you know whether this works or not. Before we start playing with all the food coloring, this is an apron and a pair of oven mitts and I mean, so I guess we're gonna be testing this out as <laughs> well. I just realized I've been making food videos for like 10 years and not one time I wore an apron on a video. So according to these instructions, I think the tiniest one is the blue one. Um, so I bought a lot of different options for food coloring because if there's one thing I know is that it's never enough It's still not as vibrant as the one in the photo, but this will do for now So we're gonna move on to the red one, which is most of the cake is basically red One thing they don't tell you in the instructions is that you do need to spray this because there's no way this is non-stick. I don't think Disney really cares. I think they're like, we just want your money. Like, we don't really care whether you have 
a great experience or not. Fast forward to a few years from now and Disney literally owns my whole life. So if this sticks, I'm gonna be so mad. So they sort of start with the red on the outside. Oh my god, how am I going to like go over this little thing without making a mess? Okay. Oh my god, this is actually so difficult. You know what, I'm just gonna have to go on top of that. Oh. So I'm gonna do the blue in the center, at least this one is a lot easier. Oh my god, this is so difficult to like hit the right spot. Because it's such a like narrow like gap to fill and then uh, this happens every time. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's not the prettiest, like this could definitely have been done a lot better. But I'm proud of it. I mean, I've only mixed like a few colors here and there. But hopefully when he bakes, like you won't even be able to tell. We need to make the little star shape that is gonna be the center of the cake. And that's literally the only icing that's gonna go on it. So I think I figured out why they don't use actual pictures for the instructions, why they only use these drawings. And it's because it's so much messier and not simple. So I'm going to um, remove the rest. And hopefully, oh my god, I'm trying not to mess it up. Hopefully we're going to get, okay, I mean, at least one thing in this whole video didn't go wrong. That's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna put it down before it starts melting. Okay guys, as you can see, like I take back every single thing I said about these oven mitts because I tried holding it with it and it literally doesn't protect from anything. So even this, it's trash. Oh my god, this looks so bad. <laughs> Wait, why is the cake coming with it? <laughs> I feel like this is not meant to happen. I'm trying to push it down. Holy schnitzel, this is so difficult. That actually came off. This is horrifying. Like, it does not look like the picture, but um, I think we're supposed to flip it, so maybe it's prettier on the other side. Okay, one, two, can't do it. <laughs> one, two. Oh my god. <gasps> oh shoot, it's sliding off. Oh, why am I so scared of opening this up? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that is the ugliest thing <laughs> I've ever produced in the kitchen. And that means a lot coming from me. This is so much worse than an expectation versus reality. I have been catfished by Disney. Absolutely horrifying, but at least there's only one thing left to do. <laughs> I am truly sorry to all of you guys who love superhero movies because, I mean, I'm, I have not done it justice. Now imagine if I made this for like someone's birthday and I just show up like, um, happy birthday, here's your infection looking cake. Like it literally looks like you're not gonna survive a slice of this. I'm so excited for the rest of this video now. This time around, I mean, I could be surprised if this actually works, but I've been disappointed by something similar to this in my videos before, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this. So this is a silicone breakfast mold. So these are essentially molds that people use to shape like pancakes and eggs, and sometimes you see this in like adverts or like when people are like trying to make like those cute little Pinterest like breakfast moments. So I think I'm gonna use this one for a pancake because that's like the most iconic one. And maybe this one, we should turn it into an egg. Before we start, I just wanna show you that in the instructions in this one, it actually says right here to spray it with non-stick spray. So there is no excuse that on the other one, it didn't even mention that. Like that's just how little they actually care about this stuff. We also got the opportunity to use this, which might be the only thing that I know it's not going to disappoint me. Like, like, this is freaking iconic. I need to make one of these with my hand and then turn it into merch. <laughs> Give the video a like if you'd actually buy it. Or honestly, don't, because no one will. <laughs> so the step number one in the instructions is to make sure this is well sprayed as well. 
that is pretty much it so we're gonna add some of the pancake batter I don't know what's easier to make it thick or thin what would like work the best so let's just keep it like that I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other one as well so this one it's got like all these little gaps so I want to make sure it's really really coated this is the part where I always fail we're gonna crack the egg right into it oh my god okay no I can already see it every single time I see an egg shaper I always think it's a terrible idea because it's never worked for me so I don't even know how I'm gonna get the egg out I mean the pancake should be easy so here we've got the pancake okay, I'm gonna flip it because I think it's gonna look nicer on this side Okay, that actually worked, like out of everything in this video, this is the first thing that actually worked, like this. So here we've got, here we've got the egg. I mean, if you compare this shape to this, uh, after being catfished by Disney, I actually don't think this was too bad, so I mean, I'm feeling kind of positive for the next one. I never thought I would say this, but I'm actually excited for this next one because one of the items actually... I've never seen anything like this before, so this is a cookie cutter, but instead of being like a regular cookie cutter, it's basically like a stamp, so you basically stamp the cookie, it just comes out with the right shape, so it comes with four different shapes. This is actually going to be fun. Like I'm really curious to see what these are gonna look like, but here's the one that I don't think it's going to go that great This is a 3d cookie cutter set and basically it's one of those cookies that you bake it and then you're supposed to mount it after so we also get to use this Mickey Mouse like rolling pin and Oh my god, no! These products are a mess. So basically, the part that says Mickey Mouse, because it's a different material than the rest of the rolling pin, the dough sticks to it, which is not what it's supposed to happen, because this is a freaking rolling pin. This is so freaking cool. Let me know if you guys knew this was a thing, because I've never seen this before. So... Okay, and now we... S do we do it all the way? I feel like that's probably good enough. Now we just... We just push it out. Why is it not coming out? <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, this is not great. <laughs> oh no, he broke. This one kind of worked weirdly. Okay, that actually, that's not too bad. Okay, this one's gonna go on the pile of, yes, you're gonna get into the oven. This one is still kind of like a stamp, but basically it just comes separately. So you can basically just do the shape and then do this on top. And weirdly, it comes with two different um, sets of legs. So you can get like boots for Mickey. I think we should make Mickey and make him wear heels because I really don't want to ruin it because it took me so long to roll out this dough. So these are basically mini legs, but it's going to be fine. Okay, that actually turned out to be pretty easy. So let's try to remove this one as well. If there's anything I think I'm going to recommend in this video, it's actually the cookie. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, this right here was supposed to be printed into here. So here's what it looks like before it goes into the oven. I honestly think it's very artistic. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is it for me. Like. I don't even know how to process this. <laughs> Let's just say they're not quite what I expected. Also, I I love the beautiful detail on all these stamps. Like, you can really see the definition. I honestly don't know whether I should laugh or cry, or maybe both at the same time, because I actually did spend my money on all these things. But now, like, keeping it real, because I don't want you guys to think that, like, I'm doing this on purpose to fail. Like, I swear, I actually tried my best to make this work. I also have a feeling that if you watch this video on, like, BuzzFeed, like, they would probably, like, try to make it work, and they'd show you the final result. 
result. But I think a good thing about my channel is that you see the first try and you see whether it works or not. Because I think that's only fair. If you guys are gonna be out there spending your money on stuff, I'm gonna show you the truth because I don't want this to happen to you guys. Surprisingly a funny video. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. And if you did, I would appreciate it so much if you could give it a like. It would honestly mean the world to me because that is the only thing that could make me feel better right now. But thank you so much to all of you guys who are subscribed and those of you who got my notifications on basically all you have to do is press that little bell and I say this in every video but I feel like every time I say it at least one of you guys is going to go and tap the bell so I want to say thank you to that one of you who just did it right now today was a little different I've got a lot more stuff surrounding like the food hacks and the stuff that we've been doing the past few days so completely different from testing like Disney products so uh, I think you guys will enjoy those videos you will see them very very soon I love you thank you for watching and I will see you guys I think in two days bye bye